Councillor Mzwendele Masina, to the speaker, to the chief whip, and all councillors that are here today. I've also seen the members of parliament, our living legends and artists in our midst, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, South Africa indeed is hovering in shock on the loss of this legend. You'll recall since Sunday, the caption was that SA pays tribute to Tandy Klassen and it placed itself in a monotonous frequency in a number of titles and in newsrooms. And so it must be, because we are talking of a legend here. After all, very few individuals have captured South Africa's political and cultural imagination and impacted on the lives of many musicians as Mama Tandy has done. From the moment we heard of her passing away, Tributes have come thick and fast with scribes using their vantage point in describing her, as you have also heard the speakers as they were talking about here. In doing so, most of the people that pay tribute to her, they, they portrayed a rich portrait, each facet appealing to different groupings. The list of volunteers include their own fellow musicians. It includes also the political parties across all the sphere, the literal giants, including also ordinary people. All agreed in passing that she has been transported to the pantheon of legends, those whose mortals, who through their contribution and creativity will continue to live with us. One of our own, a legend of international stature, Mama Tandi, whose soothing voice drowned frustrations and kept hopes alive during the struggle day from Sofia town to Soweto and then beyond our shores, is now but a lingering fond memory embodied within our hearts. You will recall, colleagues, that the President Zuma has best summed up the indelible imprint that Matt and the Klassen has left behind. Also, it's also pleasing that her contribution in the arts and keeping hope alive was recognized in her lifetime. She also received one of the great honor the country bestows on its citizen, the Order of the Babwab in gold in 2006. These tributes express a sense of both loss and celebration of a life well lived, as if taking cue from this, always during this week, they continue to disrupt the message gloom by playing some of her memorable songs because it is through her music that she will continue to live amongst those she leaves behind. But there's no honor on her than that one of the country's first citizen. Any tribute that does not speak to Mama Klassen's never die spirit will be incomplete. Perhaps most revealing of her life is the words used by her daughter Lorraine in confirming the reports of her passing away. I quote, today is the day my mother left us. She passed away this morning peacefully. She lived a life of tragedies to be able to die peacefully. She did everything her way, close cause. Apartheid, as you recall, colleagues and comrades, and petty. It has been petty and has been grand, but it could not surprise her, her indomitable spirit. Like many in her time, she also experienced what it means to lose your house through a stroke of a pen. All of us, because of this and because of some of our determination, you'll recall that what happened to her was done to her so that they bear a dishonor to her. But with her song, Sophia Town, it should remain a testament that continues to remind us that the past was both ugly and repulsive. There are few places that have a proud, profound influence in shaping in the shaping of our nation. Sophia Town stands shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Sharpville, Soweto, Langa, and Guguletu in producing the kind of atmosphere and environment that produce South Africa's grace like Mama Tandi, be it in politics, in cultural expression, or even in journalistic ex excellence. In crafting that song, she has not only done her contemporaries a political favor, 
but she has bequeathed the future generation with a priceless gift. A gift that says the struggle against apartheid, colonialism was real and not in vain. There was nothing miraculous about it. People died, some of them went to prison, and some were, went to exile. Some were tortured, some were crippled for life. The freedoms we enjoy today is as a result of people like Uma Mata and Dick Larson. These freedoms were not handed over a silver plate, lest we forget. But the worst strategy to befell any musician at the prime of her career awaited her. You recall Mabandu could not have expressed it well when he writes as follows, I quote, in 1997, tragedy struck. The pretty star was attacked with a seed. It was a violent incident that could have ended her public life as an entertainer. It didn't. Tandy Klassen's resilient spirit carried her through. She recovered and kept on singing. This kind of violence will have been part of her life from the start. To be a singer in Sophia Town, for instance, meant that more and more often than not, the young Tandy Klassen will perform for gangs and thugs as their primary patrons at Shibins, clubs and halls. Close quote. No one brings this career ending tragedy sharper than her own beloved friend Umama Abigail Kuveka. She's here in our midst. She, I love her remarks when she said quote, for her to be bent like that and still have the courage to stand on stage in front of millions and sings, I admired her for that. Some of us Get a pimple or blue eye and you go, I'm not going to work. She had even joke about it and say, they can bend my face, but they can never bend my voice, close quote. The SABC was the platform to promote her golden voice that entertain and dazzle all of us near and far. A classic sing along that reverberated the music scene along with her daughter, which is Lorraine, her voice in particular. A melancholy duo as they celebrated life despite all the mishaps that happened in their life. And today, she has left behind a legacy of traveling triumphant spirit that made her cross the swelling tide to join the heavenly choir. There is perhaps no better embodiment of the former President Nelson Mandela's description of the life of Mama Utandi. President Mandela observed that the greatest glory in life is not never falling, but rising every time you fall. Mama Tandi remained loyal to her own voice despite the unfortunate incident she went through. She remained steadfast and was always as they say, the lady that mastered her own voice. Perhaps the last word should go what the ANC Women's League have just described there in their political terms. I quote, if the Imbogoto who broke the glass ceiling of the music industry, which characterized by domination of males and became an icon in African jazz. Her career as a singer and dancer began in the mid-1950s when the apartheid and patriarchal system were entrenched but did not deter her from pursuing her dreams. Close quotes. To the family and relatives, I want to say, hold fast to the confession of your faith. May her soul rest in peace. She will remain aged in our memories. For some of us, we were privileged to have known her and shared the moments with her. I thank you. The communications uh, minister there, uh, Faith Mutambi, paying tribute. Uh, to Mayor Tandy Klassen, essentially reiterating what we've heard throughout uh, this afternoon.